rotation manipulation? Well, there are two different options. You always start with half a rotation, and when a half a rotation is successful, you continue towards a full rotation. But the definition of full rotation <coughs> is in fact not full full. What do I mean by that? We go to the end of the movement and then we come back a little bit and then we do the rotation impulse over there. So in other words, we don't exceed, we don't do excessive rotation because this could be dangerous in relation to problems with arteria vertebralis. Again, safety is everything. Also with this maneuver, ask for vertigo, ask for headache, ask for nausea. So if this happens, you don't proceed with the maneuver. So half a rotation to the left, what do we do? Well, right hand occiput, right foot against the support. Then we put the left hand at the chin, the left foot against the support, flexion, traction, you go to half a rotation, impulse, you go back and release the traction. Two things which are very important. When you do the rotation, before you decide to do the impulse, check the so-called end feel. If you feel muscular spasm, if you feel she's very tense, don't manipulate through the tension. That doesn't work. No, she needs, she needs to be in a relaxed position. That's one little detail. And another little detail, when you perform the rotation, then don't release the traction immediately. No, you did the rotation. You stay under traction. Under traction, you come back to neutral and then you release the tension.